Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the protection of data within a file system within from a physical damage or from an improper access and what are the access types that is made to a file that a user can be permitted that will decide to allow a denying of the request that is made operation to that file. And what are the implementation details of the higher level system calls and how the research groups from a small paste and a large breast is different from each other. When we are storing data or information within a file system, we must want to keep it safe from the physical damage, safe for the issue of reliability or from the improper access, the issue of the protection. So reliability can be implemented by duplicating the copy of the same file again and again. Some operating system uses system programs that would automatically copy the disk from the disk to the tape at a regular interval, say for one day or one week. Or maintain a, another copy that should a file system be accidentally destroyed. So a file content can be deleted by many of the reasons. It can be a hardware failure, that is an improper read write, or and dirt, hate crashes, temperature extremes, or any other software issues like bugs in the file system softwares, or can be accidentally deleted. So for this reasons, reliability should be maintained. Now the protection can be accessed and be implemented in many ways. Protecting files is a direct result for the ability to access the files in various ways. So whenever we are allowing or denying a request for an operation on that file, the contents and the reasons are one upon is an access type. So there are many access types that is performed by the user. So which is the system that uses no protection method for the user which does not allow other users files access for any granting. So we can give proper and absolute protection by prohibiting access to the files or in the extreme end we can give no protection or by free access to any of the files of any of the users. But these two methods are both on the ends of two extremes and are not acceptable as a general use. So what we want is a controlled access. So to control the access, we need to know about the access type or the types of the accesses within a file system. The first type of access that is made by a user, it is a read. By the read access, the user can only read a file. The next access is a write. In this access, the user can write or rewrite a file. The next access is the append. In append, the user can add new information at the end of the file. The next option is delete. In the delete access option, the user may delete the contents of a file and may possibly provide the space for the reuse. The next option is list. It will list by the user about the different file and directory attributes of the file system. And another access operation is the execute, which will load a file into the memory and then execute it. Other higher information accessing like copying, renaming or editing a file can be also controlled. But this higher level system calls can be implemented by system programs that can make the lower level system program calls. And the protection can be involved in this lower system calls only that we have discussed. Say for example, copying of a file can be resulted from a sequence access of different read operations. So thus, a file which is access granted on a read mode then can be access granted on that particular copying and then printing that file too. So when we are talking about the protection, there are various mechanisms on various intentions. So every mechanism is appropriate for their particular intended use. Say for an example, a small group of members which is used for a certain research purpose using a few computer that a protection mechanism will be different from a large corporate computer users based on finance, research or any other personal purposes. 
So in this way, different different protection methods should be used for different approaches. And the type of access should be made permit on that particular request from the user which should be granted or not. So any user process which is requesting for an execute or delete of the file should be always denied. Always write read and write operation would be given permit on them. So this is all about the types of access in protection. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.